August 24th, 2015. You made the promise, and I'll quote it here, no veteran will be forced to fight their own government for the support and compensation they have earned. Yet you are still currently in a legal battle with veterans regarding equal support and compensation to their peers. You have ISIL or ISIS members coming into a reintegration program. You did a backdoor deal with Omar Qadar with not even stepping into the courtroom. You know, so again, my question is, what veterans were you talking about? Was the ones that fought for the freedoms and values that you so proudly boast about, or was it the ones who fought against? Because honestly, Mr. Prime Minister, I was prepared to be injured in the line of duty when I, went to, when I joined the military. Nobody forced me to join the military. I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada had, turning its back on me. So which veteran was it that you were talking about? Why are we still uh, fighting against certain uh, veterans groups in court? Uh, because uh, they are asking for more than we are able to give right now. Um, they are asking for more than we... Well, no. Hang on. You're asking... You're asking for honest answers. The old veterans charter involved lump sum payments and very little in the way of services. We have significantly invested in services, rehabilitation, support, uh, investment, in training, in support to caregivers and families that have gone a long way towards improving the quality of life and outcomes uh, for veterans. And we cannot return to the amount of money that was given before uh, without accounting for the money invested in 